Okay, so we're ready to uh, actually lay out <clears throat> the bolt hole pattern. So here we go. Here's the drawing. We have what is that? Ten, uh, ten by twenty-four bolts to go uh, into this uh, into the casting, and then um, we also have to drill the hole that the steam goes through. It's gonna be we're just gonna drill a hole down, and then we're gonna drill a hole this way. Uh, through this little boss here, and through this boss is where the pipe is going to connect. Uh, so, the one, like I said earlier, if you guys remember, um, one of this core kind of shifted to the side a little bit, and as a result, it's a little close to this side. So, if I'm worried about lining, if I'm worried about any of the bolt hole positions, it's going to be this one right here because there's really not that much wiggle room, whereas every place else there really is. Um, <clears throat> so I might even add a bolt on the top and the bottom. I don't know if that'll be necessary. Um, you know, it's kind of, there's kind of not that much room up there. So I don't know, we'll see. Right now I'm just gonna do five down and five down on each side. So I wanna make sure this one is in the right spot. So. <clears throat> We're going to start there. I'm going to use my marker here. I'm going to mark that. Now, according to the drawing, we have 188 thousandths from the side. <clears throat> now, this side is not, you know, this is, a, this is, this side here, it's not, I mean, it's pretty straight, but it's still a casting line, right? Even though we machined this surface. So, but I'm still going to use it. So we're going to do 188 from this surface. I'm just going to put a little scratch mark in there. Just enough to scratch the marker. Not really the casting. And then, uh, it's 144 thousandths. From the top, okay, so that is the approximate place again, especially this top. This top is not straight at all, so that looks pretty good. Um, now we're going to use our center punch, I want to move it in a little bit. So here we go. This is gonna be this is gonna be it. So here's our center punch. I got a new center punch, by the way. And we're gonna just all right, all right. So we're gonna lay out the rest of these holes here. So let's just. So again, 188 thousandths. Let me just double check this one. Yeah. 188 thousandths. Don't want to scratch the surface, just enough to scratch the marker. same on the other side. Again, only scratching hard enough to scratch off the uh, marker. So now that we have these vertical lines, the spacing between each uh, hole is 925 thousandths. So we'll start from this one, and then we'll make a little scratch. And we'll start from that one, make a little scratch, and 
so on and so forth. All right, now the other side, we need to make another reference point, starting at 144 thousandths from the top. Okay, so now I can see where all of the bolt holes are going to be. So we're going to go in here really carefully and mark them. So now we have to mark the hole for the center steam port so we'll just make a little blotch there dry. and so I have dimensions here but they're based on the fact that I can lay out the holes exactly and that's not the case so this it's gonna be off by like ten or so thousands um, so we're just going to take a measurement and see how close that gets to what I want in the drawing. So this is 6.09 and my drawing I, I made it 6.02 so we're only off by 7, seven thou. Um, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so let me see what this dimension will be with these new... This has my dimension being 804 and a half thousandths. So we'll just do 805 thousandths. Oh, I'll try to get four and a half. But there we go. So mark a line there. Mark a line there. So let's just make sure this should be in line with the steam port boss on the side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So now, here's my scale. So now we're going to connect these two. center punch that. There. Alright. That is all the bolt holes. All we need to do now is drill and tap all of these holes. Okay, we're at the drill press. Um, <clears throat> so, out of all these holes, the most difficult one is the one above the boss where the steam port is going to go. Because I don't want to go into the steam port. Um, it will probably be okay even if I do because this is going to be a gasketed surface and it's not likely the steam will leak out um, but I still would rather avoid that so what I'm going to do is I'm the kind of guy who likes to get the hardest one done first I'm going to do this one first um, according to my drawing the steam port surface begins three eighths of an inch down um, so I'm going to go down a quarter of an inch. We're going to have a blind hole. And then we're going to tap that blind hole 10 by 24. So uh, I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to set my stop. That should be a quarter inch. So let's go. So, to tap that, that's not the deepest hole, and if you use, if you use a tap that has too much taper in the beginning, like a starting tap, you could end up just stripping out that hole, and I've learned that the hard way. So we're actually going to start here with a bottoming tap. So a bottoming tap, 
Let's see here. If you can focus. You can see that there is almost no taper in the beginning. There's just a little teeny bit to start the threads. Whereas you have a starting tap which has a lot of taper and then you have a plug tap which is kind of somewhere in between. And a plug tap is the kind of tap you would buy at like a hardware store or something like that. It's kind of like a middle ground. So we're going to put this bottoming tap in and we're going to thread this hole with the bottoming tap. Now you don't typically start with the bottoming tap but since I'm in the drill press I know everything will be perfectly aligned so I'm just going to use some some oil in that hole that's just whey oil I'm using uh, so let's, let's do this I'm going to bring it down and we're going to start it by hand these are brand new taps by the way those cutting beautifully I'm just going to go until it gets, there's the bottom right there. All right. So now uh, I'm going to do all the other holes in the same way. I'm not going to bore you to death with all the other holes, um, so I'll bring you back on doing the last one. So all these other holes I've drilled to um, 3 eighths. I just use another bigger drill bit to deburr the holes. Alrighty. Next we're gonna drill the um, the steam hole. Um, so we're gonna go down three quarters of an inch. We're gonna start off with this just this number 25 drill bit just to get it started. And we're going to gradually increase up to half inch, maybe two steps, two, three steps. So let's go down three quarters. That is too fast. Gotta blow out those holes, and then we're done with this side. One last thing, gotta deburr this hole. If I can get it in here. Next we're going to drill and tap the um, cylinder head bolt holes. So it's 3 8 by 16 so the the tap size is, or the, the drill, the tap drill is a 5 16 
rough getting through the bottom because the surface is irregular. So it kind of knocks the drill bit around a little bit. This is not a blind hole. Um, so I'm going to actually use the uh, plug tap here. I think I'm actually going to use the starting tap for this because um, I'm going to have to go all the way through. Well, do I have enough room? Yeah, I have to go all the way through. So I might as well make my life easy because um, this, uh, this tap here, you can see it has, it's tapered, right? Those cuts in the beginning are not very deep. So it makes cutting the, th the threads easier because it cuts part of the thread first and then it goes full depth. Whereas if I were to use the bottoming tap, it's pretty much immediately full depth. Well, it's going. So again, I'm not going to bore you with uh, drilling and tabbing all these holes. Uh, so I'll bring you back on the last one.